Hi guys, I'm Phoebe Jacobs. I am a junior musical theater major. <laughs> uh, how I ended up at Ball State. When you are applying to a performative major at colleges, um, usually it's an audition. So on the theater side, you have Unifies, which is held in three different locations. There's LA, um, Chicago, and New York. And I auditioned for Ball State when I went to the Chicago Unifies. And when I was auditioning for schools, I was really looking for somewhere where I felt like there was a good community um, and somewhere where I felt like I was gonna be challenged. And all in all, I auditioned for 23 different programs, so that's 23 different schools. And I made it into 11, which was super exciting, but it made it really hard to pick a program. So of course I had to take into consideration the expenses of the programs. Um, and then again, I wanted a, uh, a community where I felt like I was safe to step out of my comfort zone and push myself and was also pushed by the faculty, but also supported by them. And I really felt that energy when I auditioned for Ball State. They were super supportive of the students that were auditioning there. Um, but also they were super supportive of each other in the room. And I felt like it was a really strong community. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm here because I, I feel like I've got a really strong community here. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where these next two years go. Uh, if I could have anybody as a dinner guest, I would choose Chris Thiele. He is a mandolinist and a vocalist for a group called Nickel Creek. They're not together anymore, but when I was younger, I listened to them all the time. They're like a bluegrass folk group and I loved them. And I've actually seen Chris Thiele in concert and it was incredible. And I would just love to pick his brain because he seems like such a cool, intelligent guy. Um, and I would love to talk with him about music and a whole bunch of other stuff because he's just really cool. Um, and if I were to have a crystal ball tell me anything about my future, I don't think I would want to know anything. Like knowing myself, if I were to find out something about my future, whether it be good or bad or indifferent, like I would be kind of like planning around it. And I overthink and I don't want to plan anything. I just want to let things happen and, and live them and experience them authentically. So yeah, I don't think I would want to know anything. Um, if my house were burning down and I had already saved like my pets and my family and stuff, I think the item that I would go back for would have to be one of my dad's old sweatshirts. I love my dad a lot um, and wearing his things reminds me of him and just makes me feel really comforted and safe. And I don't know, it'd be really nice to grab one of those ratty old sweatshirts and just have it like envelop me and you know, that would definitely be the thing that I think I would go back for. Um, oh, a weird thing about me, <laughs> okay. I am loose jointed or as other people call it, double jointed. It's so, like my fingers, like they're normal, but also like I could just like make them do really, really weird things. Uh, like I'm super flexible, my elbows are weird. Um, it's just kind of a cool party trick that I can whip out, but it's also definitely dangerous. Within my last two years at Ball State, I've sprained both of my ankles like twice because I'm just so loose. It's very easy for me to roll things and accident- Ow, I just hit my hand. <laughs> it's just accidentally- I'm very accident prone and being loose jointed does not help, <laughs> but it's also fun. Um, and then uh, an insecurity regarding public speaking. When I'm speaking as myself with words that I have written, I get really nervous, which is weird because I'm pretty comfortable in front of a crowd. Like, yeah, I am I feel like I do great in front of a, a big group of people, but something about talking as myself with my own words, my brain gets going so quickly and it, it, it goes faster than my mouth can handle. So I just start tripping over my own words and then I start rambling on about stuff that doesn't really make any sense. And then I find it really hard to get back on track. Um, and I would just really like to be able to hone the skill of allowing myself to slow down and like allow my brain to slow down and allow myself to take pauses to think and then gather my thoughts and jump back in. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. I'm so excited to watch your guys' videos and respond to them, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!